guys, thanks for joining. I'm Sheena and this is Chris. And today we're gonna take you through a 30 minute workout at home. You don't need any equipment. All you need is a little towel, dish towel, t-shirt, that's it. So today to get started, before you start any exercise, you're gonna to wanna to do a warm up. Warm ups are super integral for all exercise and it's far too overlooked in fitness because if you don't warm up your muscle, you risk potential injury and a lot of pain and soreness in the future days to come. So the first movement we're gonna to do together is gonna to be for your core and it's just gonna be some light twists. You might feel a little bit of clicking in your spine, not to worry, that's a good thing. You want the clicking now before you start exerting yourself. It feels great. Yeah, you wanna get the blood flowing throughout your whole body in order to alert your mind as well. Um, the next stretch we're gonna do is gonna get down the side of your hip and through your triceps. You're just gonna grab your right elbow with your left hand, reach up and lean to the left. You're gonna wanna hold each stretch for at least 15 seconds and allow deep breaths in and out. You feeling this, Sheena? Oh yeah. Good, and then we're gonna switch sides. And twist. Feels nice. Yeah, it does. Okay, so now that we've gotten through a little bit of upper body stretching, we're gonna wanna stretch out our legs and hips. So you're gonna wanna turn, face your partner, and lean forward and reach to the ground. You're gonna wanna keep a slight bend in the knees, but not too much. And don't try to reach the floor if you're not comfortable like Sheena's doing. Reach to your shins, whatever allows you to feel the stretch in the back of the legs and not having you bend down like this. I'm gonna to wanna to hold that stretch for another five seconds. Sometimes this stretch can be a little intense and hard on your knees, so sometimes I bend my knees a little bit and I'll re-stretch back out just to feel that hamstring stretch. Okay. Awesome. And the last easy stretch to get started is for the quadriceps. So you're gonna to wanna to grab your leg. If you need your partner for stability, they can take their time and Give hold. Me that hand. <laughs> and you just use each other for extra balance. You're gonna to wanna to feel that stretch to the front here, and as you get more comfortable, you'll pull back a little bit more. Feel that? Oh yeah. Me too. Okay, and then we're gonna switch sides. So time to get started, guys. So what's the first workout we're gonna do today, Sheena? All right, so the first movement we're going to do is we're going to do a push-up into a high-five. You're gonna see a lot of high-fives in this workout. I love high-fiving my partner because it definitely keeps them going. <laughs> Extra um, encouragement, right? Yeah, so let's get into the first position here. So regular, regular push-up. There's two modifications here. I'm gonna be doing the more easy. Chris is gonna go right into the level two. We're gonna go down into a push-up, and we're gonna clap. High five. The partner doing the more advanced motion that I'm doing is gonna wanna make sure that their feet are at least the width of their mat, or shoulder width if you're not using a mat, in order to give that sort of tripod stability you're gonna need in order to accomplish this. All right, we're at seven, we're almost there. We have 15, so nine, 10, Almost there, guys. Feeling the burn now. The advanced motion is not an easy one. <laughs> Three, almost there. Two, eye contact, you got this. And one, nice. And let's stretch it out, go back and do a nice child's pose. Lengthen those arms out. Awesome. Good, fire it up. I agree, so the next exercise we're gonna do is gonna get the core engaged. So you're gonna wanna get nice and snug with your partner so you can actually rely on tightening your feet together to use for stability. So in this motion, you're gonna lean back and doing a crunch, you're gonna reach up and tap your partner's hands for encouragement. Two sets of these, 15 repetitions each set with a 45 second rest in between. So starting now, let's do it. All right. And one. one. Two, three, four. Good. Feeling it? Five. Halfway, guys. Nine, ten. Good. If you have to stop here, you can. If not, we're going to try to get five more together. One, two, 
three, four, and Ooh. last one, and five. Yes. Nice. <laughs> so in order to feel relaxation in the stomach, now we're gonna switch onto our stomachs yeah. and do a cobra stretch. This is gonna take up about 25 seconds of the 45 second rest. And up. Ooh, that feels nice. You're gonna to wanna to look to the sky, keeping your shoulder blades back and your chest up. Just feel the stretch through your core. This one's really, really, really good. And I love, I love pulling my tailbone, or pulling my belly button, sorry, up to the back of my tailbone. They always talk about this in yoga. It's really, really important. You really feel that stretch under your, your belly button. So just pull it in. Awesome. And release. And that's getting us down to the end of our 45 second rest. Unfortunately, we gotta start back up to the Ooh. abs again. Okay. okay. You ready? I am. Let's do it. You guys ready? Let's do it, guys. And nice. Nice. You guys feeling it at home? I know I am. Almost there. And then we're gonna have a nice break from the core, don't worry. Four, three, two, and, and one. six packs, nice. yes. All right. All right. Again, Woo. we're gonna take another 45 second rest, stretch out the core. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> Already sweating. Yes. This Amazing. isn't an easy workout, guys. <laughs> it might be 30 minutes, but it's not an easy 30 minutes. No. <laughs> That's how you get results, though, right? Exactly. Okay. All right. So, the next exercise we're. Next exercise is going to be similar to the first one. So, um, we're not going to go down all the way into a push up but we are gonna hold a nice plank and we are gonna do those high fives again. So, let's get back down into a plank. So, straight up into the plank and we're just high-fiving forward. Again, remember keeping your feet at least shoulder width apart or the width of the mat if you're using a mat. That way you have that extra stability you need through the repetitions. Don't forget to look at your partner right in the face. <laughs> keep, them account keep them encouraged. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Whew. Stretch back. Give your spine a little bit of a rest because believe it or not, even though that might look like an arm exercise, you feel it a lot in your back and your core. on. Whew. All right guys, now that we're nice and warmed up in the front of our bodies, we're gonna work a little bit of our back now. So as you know, the push-up movements are working your shoulders, your chest, and your triceps. Now we're gonna wanna work the biceps and the back. So this is the time we're gonna need to get that t-shirt or towel that I told you about earlier. And then we can get started. So you're gonna wanna wrap up the towel Depending on what you have at home, you might use a longer towel than this, but this is, this is more than efficient for two people. So either of you are gonna grab both ends. You're gonna stagger yourself slightly so that way you have the control and balance you need to work with each other. And while I pull the rope towards myself, Sheena's gonna add a little bit of tension to make an adequate amount of workout for me. And then in reverse, I'm gonna do the same for her. So starting like this, we're gonna do 15 repetitions each. So it'll be 30 total. So I'm gonna pull and back. Good. You're gonna, this is gonna take a little bit of time to get used to, to find each other's tension. But you're gonna feel a lot of burn. You feeling that in your back? Oh yeah. So what happens is you're actually feeling this exercise when you're fighting me, as well as when you're pulling. So the whole thing is an exercise for both people. And really squeeze your back. Once you get all the way back there, really squeeze between those shoulder blades and feel that burn. <sighs> I'm starting to feel it now. <laughs> She's stronger than you think, guys. <laughs> Eight. Nine. Good. 
12. Almost there. And one more. Perfect. Whew. Whew. And if you guys are doing more than one of those at home because you like it, make sure you're always switching positions of your feet with each set so you're stimulating the core equally. All right. That's a good one. What's next? All right. So next we're going to do a wall sit for the one partner. The other partner is going to do a lunge. And then we're gonna switch. If you don't have a comfortable space at home, like a wall, we're just gonna do it in the middle of the room and you're just gonna do a static squat. So we're gonna get on the mat. Sheena will present you with the lunge and I will do the static squat to start. And then as you encourage each other to hold through the entire exercise, take a one minute break and then we'll switch. So we're gonna do 15. On each leg. On each leg. So. And go. One. Two. This becomes very challenging Three. for the partner doing the static squat towards the middle of this exercise. So if you need to take a rest, you can just stand up, take a breather, and then get back to it. But challenge yourself as hard as you can. Don't give up easy on this. Just look at your partner and fight through it. It's only 30 minutes, guys. 10. Five more. Four. Three. Two, whoo, and one. Awesome, and... Breather, stretch whew. my legs out a little. Whew. I'll let you breathe. <laughs> and again, guys. One, two, three, four. Nice really work. squeeze that glute when you reach the top. Seven, eight. I'm starting to shake, guys. <laughs> Hurry up. Almost there, five, four, Three, two, and one. Nice, all right, so now we're gonna take a little stretch, stretch out our legs, lay on the mat, take a minute to ourselves, and then we're gonna switch and do the same thing again. Give me that hand. Yeah, <laughs> support. Yes. How are you feeling? Whew, I'm on fire. Me too. Feeling good though. All right. Good, on the other side. I'm scared and excited for this uh, squat I'm about to do, guys. I'm sure you're feeling the same way. Yeah. All right. All right. We're almost there, though. We've made it quite a long way through the workout, guys. I'm very proud of everyone at home who's still tuned in. Thank you very much. Killing it. All right, so now it's my turn to lunge and your turn to squat. All right, here we go. And let's go, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Make sure you're squeezing the glute, even the guys. Curls like your booties, trust me. <laughs> Good. Almost there. Two. And one. Good. Take a second. Twist out, get rid of the lactic acid, that burning feeling you're getting. It's gonna be all worth it. Next time you guys try, it'll be easier. You ready? <sighs> yep. Last one. Last one. <laughs> all right, here we go. And one. Great, babe. Almost. Eight. Ten. Five more. One. Two. Ooh, I'm shaking. Three. Four. And. Oh! <laughs> Made her way through the You end have to bit. hold that last one. All right. Whew. Now I'm feeling a good burn in the legs. Whew. All right. All right. I'm going to do a glute exercise next. Yes. So I'm going to get the glutes. We're going to get down. On the ground, we're gonna lock our feet in the same way that we did those crunches. We're gonna lay back on the floor. And this one can be a little awkward about the gym. A lot of people don't enjoy doing it in public, which is why we're doing it at home. <laughs> so this one's really great for tightening the booty, really squeezing. So we're gonna do 15 reps, and we're just gonna lift our hips all the way up to the sky. We've all seen this movement. It's very effective. So 15. And three. Make sure you're digging your heels into the ground and not your toes. It's very important to trigger the glutes by using your heels. Almost there, five more. And four. Three, two, and one, awesome. 
<laughs> okay. I'm gonna take a little breather, stretch yeah, out the legs a little bit. Out a bit. We're almost there. Almost there. How's everyone feeling at home? <laughs> Beat, I'm sure. All right, we have a couple more movements here, guys. We're gonna kill those legs, get them nice and lean. So, this movement here, we're gonna do a squat and a leg lift. This one is one of my favorites. It really helps shape the butt and give you a lot of muscle toning on the outside of the glute. So. You're gonna wanna be hands distance apart, a little bit further than if you were walking and holding hands, which is about here. And then we're gonna squat down, come up, and kick touch. the feet together, and back down. And other and side. Other side, exactly. And that's two, and we're gonna do 15 total. Four. Five. Six. Oof, feeling it now. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Oof. You did an extra one there. Good for you, I'm proud I'm of you. I'm feeling good, I'm energized, guys. <laughs> the, the more you do this, the more you get into it, and the more you actually feel you'll be doing extra sets and extra reps all the time. Exactly. And the partner being there to help encourage you every day is gonna make it a lot easier. Killing it, we got one more. One more, guys. All right, similar to the last movement, I'm gonna let Chris demonstrate this one here, and I'll just follow. We're gonna do jump squats. Now, any, any listeners at home that have bad knees and fear the word jump, don't get there yet. We'll go there in stages. You can just do a regular squat, which you know we'll do for you, and I will do the advanced version, which is a jump. So she'll stay forward, and I'll do it from the side so you can sort of see what I'm doing. So we're gonna do 15 reps, one set, together, starting now. Absorbing with your toes on the way down for each step. You don't want to be thudding on your heels like that. You want to come down onto your toes nicely. And just get a little bit of an explosive movement and it will raise your heart rate a little bit at the end of the workout. And obviously get a little bit more power in your legs. Five, four, three, two, and, and one. one. Whew. Good ah. job. I'm sweating. High five your partners at home too, guys. You guys killed it. Killed it, killed it. All right, guys, we're almost there. We have two more movements. We're gonna walk you through a curtsy squat. So what you're gonna do is you're going to tuck one leg, your left leg, behind your right, and you're going to curtsy down. And switch. Back. I'm showing you guys, obviously, the easy version. You don't have to go all the way down like Sheena's doing to get the same exercise. Okay, so we're gonna count down from 15 together, guys. We got this. Left leg behind. One. Two. Three. <laughs> Eight. Ten. Almost there. Five more. Five. You can do it, guys. Four. Three, two, and one. Oh, I'm Felt feeling that. that one, that's good. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do one more movement for the glutes, and it's gonna be back down on the mats, and we're gonna do a, a kneeling glute raise. The variation for this one, Sheena's gonna show you. I'm just gonna do the simpler version. So what I'm going to do is in a tabletop position, I'm gonna lift my right leg up, starting with the right leg, and I'm gonna bring it over to the one side of my foot. And I'm just gonna elevate up and come back down. And then I'm gonna bring it to the other side. So up, over, up, over, okay? So we're gonna do 15 of those. We're gonna switch legs and do another 15 and we are done. All right, let's do this. Okay. One. <sighs> two. Three. Four. It's burning. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more, guys. Home stretch. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. All right. One more leg. One more leg, guys. 
Okay. And up. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten, five more. Four, three, two, All right. and one. Nice. Okay, guys, right away we're going to go into a child's pose. Stretch the back, stretch the glutes. You've done a lot. Let's just relax here for 20 seconds or so. Congratulations, guys. You made it through your first 30 minute couple workout with Chris and Sheena. <laughs> <laughs> we rarely made it, so we know you guys worked. We're really proud of you. And uh, let's do it again. Let's do it again soon. Absolutely. We're gonna come up into a cobra stretch again. Remember guys, deep breaths through your nose and out through your mouth. Help really get the blood and the oxygen flowing through your body nicely. leg up, your left leg, right through. You're gonna feel a stretch. You can use the ground for stability or your knee. You're gonna feel a stretch through the front of your quads and through your groin. This is gonna feel good after those squats, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> he tends to laugh at me when I do all those leg lifts and all those little fruity girl movements, but now he's really sweating, so. It's definitely different than my normal routine. <laughs> but all exercise is good exercise. It no is. one can tell you otherwise. Switch legs. Feeling good? Oh, I feel great. Awesome. Make sure you have some protein in your bodies now after that exercise, guys. One way or another. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good. Okay. Thank you guys so much for joining in today. And for more workout videos, make sure to check out CBC Life's YouTube channel. Bye, guys. Bye.